Hello there everybody and welcome to part three of the tutorial series. So far we've made a book and we put them side by side by side and what I want to show you in this third one is how do we take that and make a procedural bookshelf that will fit even the tallest of the books. And you can kind of see the node network here, uh, but just to leave off uh, where we left off, uh, we made a book generator and a simulation nodes that can kind of uh, puts these in series. Uh, to make this into a bookshelf, I need it to accommodate the tallest book, and in some sense, what we want is the bounding box, which is, you know, exactly what we're going to do. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to go for the bounding box, and this is actually how I made uh, the uh, bookshelf. You could get fancy here, so you can see this um, updates depending on the length, width, and height of the largest book. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to kind of punch out this face and uh, this face so that we have kind of like a hollow, hollowed out shell. Uh, so I'm going to delete geometry. Uh, which geometry is it? It is exactly the geometry that is equal to the normals facing uh, the y-axis or the negative y-axis, okay? So I'm going to say, where's this vector equal to normal? equal to one on the y-axis and we delete the face. And let's see what that looks like. So that deletes one face, but uh, of course this one faces the negative y. Uh, so we can fix this by just throwing in a absolute value in, not that, an absolute value in vector math. So absolute value and that punches this out. And you can see uh, when we take this and we join it with our geometry, our simulation node geometry, you can see this accommodates the books perfectly. Uh, to give this a bit of dimension, I'm just going to extrude it along its normals by a tiny amount. And of course, just like last time, uh, to make this a solid object, we flip the faces, join it, and run a merge by distance. And we don't need this anymore. So now we have a singular mesh. And then finally, uh, to make this have a bit more clearance because it's perfectly touching the top book, uh, what we can do is we can take this, our like source geometry, and make it a bit bigger on the z-axis by 10% and on the y-axis by 10%. And that's pretty much how you make the bookshelf. It accommodates any size book. So even if we were to take the height of it and make it go way higher so it could go up to 10, you can see this bookshelf accommodates that as well. So basically you'd run a bunch of these simulations and you'd plop them on top of each other. Of course, each time you run a different simulation with different seed values. And uh, this is how you can make a fully stocked bookshelf uh, with a lot of detail. So there you go. That, that is kind of the essence of it. So if you enjoyed this tutorial series, I would encourage you to go to the link in the description. You can download the blend file via Patreon. Uh, but in general, thank you to all the active patrons. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next tutorial.